All right, good morning, Bigfoot fam. It's Monday. It's absolutely gorgeous outside. It's going to be a freaking mad week. Got so much wicked shit coming in. Got so much awesome stuff happening with my companies. And just generally, a lot of good stuff happening soon. So let's get today killed so we can take a look at these kits that came in. Go drifting tonight with my homies. I think it's going to be a good day. Matter of fact, I know it's going to be a good day. Hope you can make it the same. You. All right, so I got my list made up for the day. Um, going to be a packed but awesome day. Gonna get cracking at this work so we can take a look at those kits. And uh, last night I had to order myself a new portable hard drive because I maxed out my two terabyte guy already. I, I knew that was gonna happen as I started archiving all of my footage. Just, I'd like to have it for one day. So using about two terabytes in a few months, I'd say that's pretty good. So got a four terabyte on the way crazy how cheap they're getting nowadays. All right, so I just finished up my work for the day. It was mostly computer work kind of day. Um, answering emails and printing orders and answering emails and dealing with some more back-end stuff for some new products, but didn't end up filming the whole day, but basically uh, it was nice being able to answer my emails out in the sun for once, or let alone seeing the sun for once. So I'm gonna get myself in a workout because I didn't get one in yesterday and I'm just finding myself getting frustrated with the little things again, so. Can't let that happen. So, I'm gonna take out my frustrations on this workout. Um, I gotta go pick up a uh, order from PetSmart for cat supplies, and then uh, we'll look at some kiths and go drifting. Fuck yeah. Well, that was actually pretty convenient. I was able to place my order online and pay with my PayPal. So, could use that to get all my cat supplies. Excuse me. Your sister already chewed on that. <laughs> Okay, well it's time to take a look at something that I am crazy excited and almost even foreshadowed at a little bit before. Or, so anyways, this is my first consortium pair of Adidas already in my cabinet here. So just hang on a second. Man, what a glorious first pair of consortium to start with, in my opinion at least. These are uh, from the first little mock-up that I saw to the advertisements that they ended up doing with like the exploding paint and all like the glorious colorways and one of each color like that. So I ended up calling this like a pink melange or something like that, which is basically just a mixture of pink colors. A lot of people didn't dig this one for some reason. Well, whatever. Everybody has their own opinion on stuff or whatever. But as soon as I saw the pink, I was in there like swimwear. And that was before I even knew that it had the gold accent. So yeah, I've been a long time fan of the City Sock from when I got my first pair which is the only pair that I have at the moment, but uh, I have the Wool Winter CS2s and I absolutely love them. And it, which is hilarious because when I got into Boost, I first saw the City Socks when they were coming out and, and I, I was blatantly against it and I hated it. I didn't like them at all because it was just so different and had no lacing and it looked weird. And then I, I opened up to the fact of it and then now it's like one of my favorite style shoes to wear. So the improvements on these things are really rad. So just like the NMD R2s, they remove the bumpers from the outside and uh, gives it a bit more of a sleeker look and they did an imprinted like stripe design where the rear bumper would be and um, there's just nothing up front here and they still have the bumper on the inside a rather large one that helps with the gate of your foot and opening the arch support so that's the other rad thing that's really noticeable about these ones compared to the original city socks is uh, the support right away there's a whole lot more support in the heel region um, and it's just due to a, a large amount of support that they've added with this like suede like material. I swing them around back and they got these really nice leather pull tabs on the back where they say Kith 
back to back on the left shoe and then they say naked back to back on the right shoes tag and same thing they flip flop on the leather stripe down the center um, where it says naked on the left and then it says RF for Ronnie Fige or Fige. I'm pretty sure it's Fige. I'm not sure. So they continue with the flip flop mentality on the insole, which is a really nice uh, embossed leather insole on these ones. And so it says naked on the inside of the right shoe with the corresponding tag. And it says Kith within the left shoe with the corresponding tags on that one. They have that infamous little bullet hole rivet that they do on all the consortium pairs on the tongue. Just looks really rad, sets it off because this one's got like a little like almost gold style tinge which matches it to the gold stripes that come down the center of this, which a lot of people hate these stripes. They say that's what ruins it, but I think that's kind of what makes this pair because the gold against the pink and then on the tan pair, they have silver three stripes. So I think it looks really fire. And so the other really noticeable part is this like, it's almost a burrito style tongue, but it ends up reminding me of a gi in martial arts or something like that. Like if you could imagine if I had a martial arts robe on and that would be it. I don't know, that's my thought of it anyways. You don't really notice this too much. I noticed a little bit at first when I first put it on and it just felt a little bit like, not like stiff or anything, but you could notice that it was there. But after putting them on and wearing them, I didn't end up noticing it at all really. And it could also just be that it's, you know, wearing in and becoming a bit more malleable with the wear. Super fire pair. I definitely want to add the tans to my collection at some point as well because the tans have a gum bottom, whereas these just have the white bottom. With these being my first pair of consortiums, I've already cleaned them. Um, just want to keep them icy. Want to keep them super clean because yeah, these are super fire. Yeah, ridiculously stoked to have these ones in the collection. So this is uh, just a quick little look at the box that it came in. Feels like a bit more of like a craft paper, not as finished. And basically it's just, yeah, white box, three stripes, NMD CS2 PKSE, size 13, super fire. All right, let's throw these bad boys on, get you some on feet, and uh, let's go do some sliding with my homie. Just getting everything packed up and then gonna go drifting for a couple hours, hang out with some homies. All right, let's go drifting. I think it's time for a big old time lapse on the way there because this is gonna be one of the last few times that I'm going there. Well, last handful, so time lapse. <laughs> 